It's like, you want to do what you did. You dash him. Uh, you dash him, you right click him, you melee him, and then you play a blade. And then he's going to boop you, and then you just have another dash to go in on him. Instead of like just pressing it too early and you just get booped. Quick word before the video starts. I'm going to need you guys to go stash that subscribe button and like the video. Because as of right now, only 16.7 people are subscribed. Don't miss out. Also, I'm live every day on Twitch, so come say hi. Or say something like banana to confuse all the Twitch only viewers. Could be our secret. Anyway, let's get into the video. All right, let us see. What is this guy clicking? Okay, who are you in this game? Let's see. Did you win number one? Okay, I see you. Did you win this game? You must have lost, right? Okay, yeah, you lost. You lost, right? Wait, no, you win this game. I told you I, I want losses. Listen, I don't want to watch you guys popping off. I literally don't care about wins. I, I have made this clear. It must be a loss because it's it's more important to look at losses to see what you could have done better to win because you've already done enough to win in your in your win. Of course, there's some things that you could always do better, but it's better to look look at losses because I can tell you like exactly what you could have done to get the win. Uh, the real game. All right, twelve minutes. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's decent. Welcome to you lose this game, right? Hey, hey, yeah, 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 what's going on here? Desperation, Pharaoh pick. Okay, I know you were desperate then. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's what I like to see. I like to see the desperation picks at the end. Uh, so you are gold, right? Gold one. Correct? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at it. Got the number, thank you. Okay, let us see, chat. Let us see. What was he cooking in this game? Uh -uh. Mm, okay. Uh, I think it's kind of bad to to play here, but I mean, you're kind of just following your tank. Your whole team is actually. It's much better to play at this corner. Because I don't you only have to really worry about this here. Maybe this if it's like a sniper, but if you just play like here, if you're like an Ana, then you don't even have to care about this. So you only, only really need to worry about this. I think, yeah, playing here is not great, but you're following your time. But like, you, you shouldn't. Oh shit, he died. You shouldn't let your tank get you killed. I feel like here. Right, probably still. I mean, it doesn't matter. The whole team dies. Let's just say that's a, that's an unlucky fight. I think your tank got you killed there. It's not really your fault. Oh my god, he almost. He is so lucky. This guy, this fucking doofus, is so lucky. Oh, I should probably add. Wait. Uh, Vlad review rank gold one. Okay, that could be nice. Right there. Okay. He, what is she cooking? All right. Well, that guy's kind of dumb. It is what it is. All right, number one. Okay, we, we, let's examine their team comp, right? They have Kiriko. You don't really want to go for Lucio. You don't really want to go for Lucio. Your target this game is just this Hanzo. You want to destroy this Hanzo. You want to like absolutely murder him for daring to pick Hanzo when you're, you're a Genji. It, Hanzo versus Genji is such an unfair matchup. I think like if you don't get instantly one-shotted, which is kind of unlucky, you probably have like an 80. It's, it's like an 80-20. In Genji's favor, I feel like. Do I think GM is fun? Do I enjoy it or does it feel like a job? I, I think it's fun. I, I still enjoy it. Like, it only feels like a, a chore, like a job, if I play too long. If I go for like 10 hours, then I kind of get bored, you know? I mean, sometimes like sometimes I can play for eight, sometimes I can play for like six, and I get bored, you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, uh, let, let's switch. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna go for this monster, really. Yeah, this is good, you're playing safe. I mean, it's kinda, it's kinda rough. Like, when you have a Rhine, you wanna go on these targets, but you can't. Um, okay, that's, okay, right there. That w it was unlucky that your dash reset got stolen, but you could have gone, you could have gone on the right here. You would have actually lived, I'm pretty sure. If you realize you don't get the dash reset and you just hold S key here, you make this, 100%, you make this. Throwing like a double jump to like 
throw off their aim, and I'm pretty sure you make it to the corner here. That's like kind of the first mistake. Just gonna keep running in. Yeah, you die pretty fast. <laughs> this game, I would actually consider playing behind them. You kind of want to just create space. You can't really go in because you have a Reinhardt. So you just want to like carry by like being annoying, essentially kind of like a tracer. If you play here, the only target that can really fight you is Hanzo and Doomfist. But then like then like your your DPS are super free. Like your Kree is if, if Doomfist goes on you, then your your Cassidy is free to just shoot whoever he wants, you know. So I I would actually consider like playing up here. If you have a Rhine and you you're just you're just not going the you're just not getting those dives, you lose if you play with your team. Because uh, your left clicks are kind of fucking useless, right? They're dog shit. You're, you're fighting ranged heroes with only left click. You're going to lose that fight. So you want to kind of like, you want to play to your strengths. You're going to play here. Because imagine if you're here right now, you're just like, you can just be fucking annoying. You can throw a right click, land like two, one, two right clicks, and then back off. Get the mini here down, get healed by your healers alternatively. It's it's really good to play here. You This is a very strong position on this map. This is a very strong position to play Genji. So you want to play here. But let's let's see how you play it. Uh, your team loses that fight. You get pushed here. Okay. Uh, I don't think you needed to use dash here. Do you use your double? Oh no, no, man. You, you use your double. No, you use dash. Uh, you shouldn't waste it like that. I feel like sometimes it's it's unnecessary to like. It's it's unnecessary to double double jump that often. Cause right there. You know you're gonna get you're you're getting fucking hit by that punch. If you save one jump, you actually could have saved your dash there instead of wasting it. Maybe you could have, could have killed this Hanzo later with it. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. Oh well, I, I don't really know. Your team is kind of playing shit. I don't even know what I would do here. Like maybe ask this Mercy to pocket me a bit so I can make more aggressive plays. But let's see what you do with Blade. Uh, okay. It's scary to peek. Oh, you're panicking. Yeah. I mean, right there. This is you just like. Okay. Okay. Here. Here. One thing that you have to stop doing, and this goes to anyone who's fucking doing this, right? He is using both his double jump. Or he's using both his jumps, right? You asked her, she said no. <laughs> okay, well, it happens. Okay, listen, you could have lived here. Let me, let me show you guys, okay? I need to I need to actually go into the into the practice range to show you guys this. So you can actually double jump mid-air if you save it when you're touching a wall, right? Look, if I only jump once, right? If I only jump once and then I climb, then I have another jump to use mid-air. Look. See? So I can I can keep airtime for way the fuck longer. I can wait until I start falling, and then I can grab this. So you, you if you actually knew that, you could have like saved yourself there. I don't think it matters because your whole team is dead anyway. But that's how you could have prevented your death. It's it's this is like me VOD reviewing this. It's not about like you can't change some factors. You can't change how your team plays. Like your team is gonna be dog shit sometimes. But you can change how dog shit you are. You know you could have lived there if you just like before touching the wall. Uh, if you didn't waste your double jump, so only use try try to try to get into this habit. It's very bad to double jump and then wall climb because then you're just like forced to fall down. Okay, but if you if you jump once, like literally just okay, this is what you do. You you hold space. You actually just hold space. You you jump, hold space, and then you'll have another. Because if you oh this is this is so weird, and I know this is a bug that Blizzard needs to fix, but. If I tap space, so like I'm releasing it now, and then I and then I try to like uh, climb after it. Listen, look, okay, I'm gonna turn on subtitles just to show, just so you guys understand. You guys can hear like the grunt. You see, you see like the Genji grunts. That means that means you use your double jump, right? So like, notice the difference when I do this, okay? And when I do this, see, I'm I'm using I'm con actually consuming my double jump if I don't hold space. So you need to hold space after you press it when you're trying to walk on. You need to jump and hold space. Because if you don't hold space, you're gonna use your double jump. 
You see? Okay, yeah, that, that's it. I, I feel like that was important to explain. I forgot which point we're at now. Welcome that's a good yeah that's a really good tip because you need to like hold space before Double. tapping a wall uh let's see so you died here right <laughs> you switched to another hero at 534 okay we'll, we'll probably skip that part okay yeah so you die there okay right here okay actually i just i didn't even pick up on this but you just you waste your dash you should only use your dash when you're coming back from spawn if you anticipate that you won't need it in the next eight seconds. Right here, having a dash would be useful. Because you could have, for example, here immediately just dashed out if you had it, but you waste it. You're, you're completely wasting your cooldowns. Like this deflector is kind of okay because it protects you, but you 100% wasted that dash. I didn't even pick up on that actually. That was really bad. And here you see you use both your jumps and now you're forced to fall and so you die. That's fine. Okay, let's see. So you lose another point. Oh no 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 okay number one number one okay that's a Lucio trying to blade Lucio is not an easy target to blade okay if you're blading Lucio yeah, okay, I mean you do do you do do right click dash, but you could have done right click dash. Right click melee, pull it, pull out blade. You should have done that. This was really bad. But okay, that's how you should have played it, but this is also bad for another reason. This is bad for two reasons. Is that like look top right. Or actually look look at just top middle. They're they're gonna cap the point now. You've just wasted your ultimate. And you didn't even get a kill. Like even if you got this kill, this blade is bad, but you don't even get the kill. <laughs> so you just completely waste your ultimate here. This is really bad. There's no point in ulting here. Since they're going to just cap the point And their spawn basically moves from like way over there to like here. So you don't even buy your team much time. There's no, there's no point in blading there. That was really bad. But I mean, you are gold. So, you know, it's, it's, it's understandable. You might not understand the game. Quick. In that way. Yeah. Okay, they're doom ins here. One thing I like doing here, and not a lot of people do this, is whenever there's like a sort of like choke point like this with like a wall, what you can do it as Genji here is you can actually climb this wall and then you can kind of slide off this roof and you can use the, the, the tip that I gave uh, earlier and save your double jump. So like you can, you can reach this point here kind of slide on this, double jump over it, and I guarantee you, not one person in the fucking world will know your intentions. This is 100% sneaky as fuck. Dude, I know, like, top 10 players. I, I do this in, like, top 50 lobbies, for example, and people still don't expect it because it's hard to react to because all you hear is the wall climb here, and then there's no noise. There's, like, a double jump noise here, but it sounds like you don't really understand where it's coming pl from. Plus... It might be masked by like other noises, like Ryan's fire strike, for example. Um, so he should definitely like 100% try to do this more. Like just climb here whenever there's like an opportunity like this. Like there's there's a couple uh, that I can think of. Is like there was one on Hanamura, but that's like kind of obsolete now because there's no TCP. There's the the train on Midtown. There's this this arch here. There's uh, this here as well. Is kind of doable if you start from this window here. You can like kind of you know jump, hold space, jump over here. And then come up on the other side, and usually you're 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 gonna surprise people doing that, you know. Uh, even here, if you start from here, you climb here, and you can save your double jump. You can go over the roof. I I think you can go over this roof. I'm pretty sure. If if you climb well, you can. Yeah. Uh, so like a lot of people won't expect if you do that. So that's what you can do if you're if you're kind of finding it hard to find openings. Like if your tank is not creating space for you. You can try flanking like that. That helps a lot. I'll show you. Wait, my music. Yeah, that's much better. Um, let's continue. I'm with you. Oh, he's like, mercy, please, mercy, please, come pocket me. Look, he even picks you up. He even picks her up, and this mercy, this fucking bitch, man. 
Doesn't even want to pocket him a little bit. He's just, he's just running. He's getting. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. He's cooking. Wait, wait. The mercy goes with him. Okay, Ryan Chatter's here. A good follow up there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, not bad. You salvaged it, but that was like. That was definitely like a mechanical error there. You, um, see, I think you you just miss, right? You just miss. See, I can't tell. Okay, but here you waste your dash. Wait, you, you should be like more calm and collected in these situations. You're definitely just panicking, trying to get kills here. Uh, this Kiriko. You should 100% know, like, your Ryan swung her once, you don't need to melee. The reason why meleeing is bad is because it prevents you from, like, uh, dashing immediately. So you have to, like, wait for your melee here to finish, and then you miss- Oh, yeah, you just miss right-click. Okay, you do you didn't know the timing is kind of, but you just, you just make a lot of mechanical errors here. Well, there's not really much that can be done here, you just have to, like, get a good- like on the mechanical side of things, I can't really help with that. I can only help with like the game sense side of things. Uh, the things, the things I can tell you for like the mechanical side is um, you can use the codes that I that I use to try to uh, warm up. For example, it's it's good. Plus to like learn the timings on like swing dash and shit. Like it's 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 good. You need to be warm. The thing with playing this hero is that you have to understand that playing this hero is like just playing the game on hard mode, okay? There's almost zero reason to play him right now. He's just, he's not the best flanker. I think Tracer is way better than him, but he's fun to play. But you have to understand that you're playing the game on hard mode. You're, you're fucking playing, everyone is playing Overwatch, you're playing Dark Souls, okay? One thing, one thing to understand when you're playing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna play it. I'm just, I just wanna get this one. Okay, but you do you do get two kills, so that's fine. I'm not gonna nitpick, but I think you could have played that a lot better. My ultimate is charged. Copy that. Okay. Okay. Oh, close. Again, that's another kill that you could have maybe gotten a few. Oh, hold on. I, I thought he was gonna walk into the dragon. My ultimate is charging. My ultimate is almost. <laughs> um. My ultimate is almost. Let's see. Oh, okay. Let him cook. Here we go. Uh. Yeah, I mean, they just beat here. That's why it's important to track when Lucio has to go. You 100% know, dude. Okay, how the fuck does this Lucio not die, though? Nah, you should have you should have been able to kill this Lucio. You should have prioritized him. But you got greedy. Okay, this is a perfect example. You got greedy, you went for more kills, and you didn't get a single one. Instead of just killing this Lucio first, because you know... Whenever, whenever you can, you should kill Lucio. Or, like, any support that has, like, a defensive ult that might cuck your fucking... Blade. Right, you should have definitely killed him. You do hit him with the dash. You just delay your dash way too much. You delay your dash way too much here. Can you get nanoed? Yeah, like, I feel like either you aim this deflect at Lucio, or you press dash right now. Because right now, he's under 75 health. For those of you that know, don't know, each one of these bars represents 25 health, okay? So Lucio right now is at like, I don't know, like 60 something. Doesn't matter, right? Oh wait, no, he's, wait, what? Oh, it's not fucking accurate in the replay. Oh no, it is, it just updated now, what the hell? Okay, hold on. Still, I think if he presses it like right now, right now, look, the Lucio is like two bars. He, you, he dies to, to nano dash here because he's like 50 HP, right? He's actually exactly at two bars. It, it literally keeps updating. That's so weird. If you press dash right now, this is huge. This is huge. Look, you get this kill and you're gonna... I actually can't stress how, how insane this is. The position you're in right now. Uh, you're aiming your dash in a way 
where you'll kill the Lucio and you'll fucking go through your targets. You will refresh your dash and you can press dash again. I wouldn't even blade this fight, actually. This setup is enough for me to just massacre this entire backline if, if, if I just play well. Because you're literally going to go at them with like 150 burst damage because the one dash is 75, right? So you're, you're going to dash through, if, if you did this properly, you're going to dash to the cast here, maybe hit the Hanzo as well, maybe Kiriko. You can hit three targets and then hit them again with dash. So they're literally like one HP. You just, the, your problem here is you wait too long. You double jump here. I mean, you do hit, you almost missed a dash on the shoot, but this is too late already at this point because he gets healed up by his Kiriko. You just delay your dash here and you don't get the kill. That's crazy. Sh shut up. Shut up. You nerd emoji me. Okay, either, like, uh, you should definitely track ultimates more. Like, uh, know which heroes have ultimates to counter nanoblade it's namely zen and lucio and zarya to a certain extent you should you should know you should try to have like an idea of you can't perfectly obviously know but you should try to like remember like okay lucio used his ult like i don't know three fights ago he hasn't used it in a while he probably has it i should try to kill him before he blades All right you just delay your dash and then what happens here is like yeah it's kind of unavoidable and then you go Bastion. Interesting. Do you go back to Genji? You don't look so good. Maybe no. Do not go. Okay, okay, you're back on Genji here. You try Kree for one death and you're like, nah, fuck this shit. Back to Genji. Yeah, I mean. Again, this happens every time I review like a lower ELO Genji. You guys are just like misusing your cooldowns. You're not getting enough value. You you either waste dash or you just deflect randomly and you don't get kills or you, you just don't get enough value out of it. You know what I mean? When you're dashing, you want to at least like be pressuring them a lot uh, for them to like use the, like some defensive cooldown. Whenever you press dash, I mean, Overwatch is like a game of resources, right? You, you press dash, uh, you, you open up with like a lot of burst. Deanna has to like react with like a nade, for example. And then, like, you're kind of in danger because she's, like, full health and you're, like, low. So you press deflect and you fuck off, basically. And then maybe it's your DPS's turn to... Your other DPS's turn to do something. Or you can try to engage before their cooldowns come up. For example, I know that Anna's cooldowns are, like, like around, like, 12 seconds for Nate, I think. So I know that if I engage her, the moment my dash is up, she's not going to have cooldowns. So, like, she does have a moment of vulnerability. But I think lower elo Genji's aren't getting enough uh, value out of their ability. Let's see what he does here. <laughs> um, I think, okay, look, right here. I would have just gone for this Cassidy. He has nobody helping him. He has Moira and Lucia. <laughs> this is such a low elo thing. This is such a low elo thing. Oh my god, look at this dude. Look at this dude. <laughs> this little rat here in the corner just waiting for a fucking boop off the bridge. Oh my god, okay. Anyway, uh, either you want to go for like this Kree or this Hanzo. Because they're isolated and they have two close range supports. I would have just... I think the Cassidy is the first target that I would have seen. So I probably would have gone for him. But instead you just go for the queen here. But you do kind of realize. You do poke him. You shoot back at him. Oh shit. Wait. You do shoot back at him. Wait, what? How much did I skip now? I'm fucking trolling. But look, come on. Look at this Hanzo here. Look at it. He's just begging to die. Like, you can literally just run through this queen. She's probably just going to shoot your monkey. Like, let's see who she's aiming at. Yeah, she's just looking at your monkey. Come on. You, you could just literally run through this fucking queen and go straight for that Hanzo. That Hanzo is such a free target. Your target priority is not great. Doesn't really... Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, nice. Okay, yeah, good. You, you did what was correct there. That's great. You forced fade. Whoa, sure you guys are old? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I mean, there's like a lot of mechanical errors here and game sense errors. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Time for the reckoning! Okay, I mean, yeah. 
Okay, I like that. Aw. I like what you did there. Unfortunately, you just got fucked. Your issue is, you got fucked here by Lucio. <laughs> you waste your dash like that. Is there a beat even? He doesn't have beat. He just gets it from this amp. Now, you could have played that better. You're too impatient with dash. Um, in this scenario, you're too impatient with it against a Lucio that can boop. So what you should do against Lucio when you're engaging with him like this, or on him like this, let me show you. Uh, since he has the ability to boop you, 100% of the time, you want to just like wait. Uh, unless you're not, unless you're certain you can kill him, you want to wait until he like gets the boop. Especially if you don't know, if you know he doesn't have beat, then it's 100% safe. It's like, you want to do what you did, you dash him, uh, you dash him, you right click him, you melee him, and then you play a blade. And then he's gonna boop you, and then you just have another dash to go in on him. Yeah. Instead of like, just pressing it too early and you just get booped. So like, end up like, missing your dash. Wait, I have my swing dash in there. <laughs> yeah, but like, you, you miss your, you miss your swing and dash, and then at that point like, you're just kinda running around with the blade. With no dash, it's, it's pretty bad. We've all been there, it's not, it's not great. It's not great. You're too impatient, like, this is not enough value from abilities, I think. Honestly. Welcome to Rian. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. No, wait. Uh... Where were we? Okay, let's see the blade. What is going on with the sound? When are they gonna fix that shit? Yeah, you're just kind of like... Dude, why is it loading the model so fucking slow? Oh, that guy should have died there. Yeah. Um, honestly, I mean, how many hours do you have on Genji? Because it doesn't seem like you have a lot. This is definitely like... You're super inexperienced. 110? Yeah, that's that's fine. I, I would say yeah, you have about like that amount of hours. 110 is nothing. Don't feel discouraged. Wait, did you dude again? Really man? Come on, dude. Come on. Come on, man. And then he goes far. At least far I can't fall off the map. Okay, I'll show you a couple moments where you could have done things better. Okay, so like right at the start of this round. That'll turn your head. You go Genji here. You should have realized like these targets are isolated. It's your best targets here to go for. 100% this, this Cassidy is looking at your Reaper. You don't know how much health he has, but he's looking at your Reaper. So that's kind of the space that you're looking for. Like you, you need to act in these moments, okay? In these moments when the enemy... When you're when you're when someone else is creating the space, either your your tank or your DPS, like this is this is your moment to shine when they're not looking at you. Because this Kree is exactly enough health, I think, for a dash right click melee. If you just go in on him right now and you dash him and you right click him and you melee him, his ass dies there. His ass dies. Right? And then you can chain that on a Hanzo and who, who's gonna help him? You didn't help him. Moira, she's too busy sucking off this Reaper. Lucio, he's too busy trying to be fucking I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but he's being a goofy ass bitch. Um, that's like one moment where you could have done better. The second is here when you're blading. You kind of. Do you even right click? Let me let me look at your ammo. No, oh, you wait. You dash in with zero ammo. That's the problem. You should okay. If you're doing this, you should always try to have ammo. So you can do like a right click and a melee. But you have no ammo, you just kinda dash you and you hit the Moira. You're just gonna fade. Wait, is your monkey boop? Wait a minute. Oh, the classic blade. Wait. Oh, that's wait. Wait, your monkey fucks you. Oh. 
Oh, okay. It's the classic Blade Primal combo. I didn't even notice that. Wait, I'm fucking slow as shit today. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of unlucky. I still feel like if you're quick enough here... Uh, would you have killed him? I mean, nah. I don't think the monkey boops him in time. You actually just get booped by Lucio. And that's 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 what results in you missing. The fact that he's so far away is your monkey's fault after though. The classic blade primal combo. Legit classic. Yeah, I mean, you could have done better there. And then we, t we talked about the... Here. This is like one of the only good plays. I like this. This is clean. This is clean. Oh, and then here. Yeah, yeah, right here. Not tracking ultimates. Not okay. Another thing I don't think you realize is you don't understand how much damage your dash does when you're nanoed as well. We, we talked about this, right? But like, if you dash here, this Lucio dies, and this is a very easy fight win. Yeah, you could kill Lucio here. So just okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this idea into your head. Okay, very, I'm gonna make it very simple. I'm gonna make it extremely simple. Wait, I can't do that in this game. Uh, I'm I'm pretty much done with the VOD review now. There's a couple more things, and I'll queue again. So here, <laughs> let's see. Remember, <laughs> under two bars means they die to dash, and when you're nanoed, under three bars means they die to dash. Oh, my nano just ran out. Fuck. Yeah, under. Th okay, so when not nanoed, two bars equals enemy dies. When nanoed, three bars equals enemy dies. Okay, like, I want to set it up like so he has like three bars, but I don't know if I can. Because this is like this this target wouldn't die, but now it would. You know what I mean? If he has two bars, like under two bars, he dies. When nano, it's under three bars. Very easy way to remember. It's gonna help you a lot. Okay, yeah. I mean, we're done with the water now. That's it. Oh. <coughs> I mean, I don't know. It's it's very confusing to me to look at like lower elo gameplay because the whole game just doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know. Your tank was dumb that game. Oh wait, uh, let me tell him. Your tank was kind of dumb that game. I I don't blame it entirely on you, but you could have done so much more. You could have done so much more, and that's what matters. That's what matters is fixing what you can do. Not what your team does, because you can't control what your team does, but you can control what you do. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard for me to make sense out of this. Yeah, gold lobbies are kind of dumb. Do I take VODs from my Discord? No, it's just like from um, the channel point requests. That's what I take it from.